Good evening and welcome to Quick 10. My name is Asim Khan. Let's have a look at today's top stories. Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandra Shekhar Rao has urged Prime Minister Narendra Modi and BJP Chief Jagat Prakash Nadda to sack Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his controversial remarks on Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. Amid the hijab row, the Karnataka government has announced that the schools up to 10th standard will reopen on Monday across the state. Further, Karnataka Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomaya said that I have instructed the DCs, SPs and school administrations to conduct a peace committee meeting. Schools for higher classes and degree colleges will reopen after reviewing the situation. Former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Ministers Mehbooba Mufti and Farooq Abdullah lashed out at Bharatiya Janta Party over the ongoing hijab row controversy in BJP-ruled Karnataka. Union Home Minister and BJP leader Amit Shah sought to know if the Chief Minister, who failed to provide a secure route to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, would be able to keep the state safe. Social activist Anna Hazare, who was sitting on an indefinite hunger strike from 14 February against the Maharashtra government's policy, today declared that he has suspended the strike as the state government has assured him it will consider citizens' views before going ahead with the decision. The top diplomats of Japan, South Korea and the United States declared their unity against North Korea on Saturday after a series of ballistic missile launches by Pyongyang. Three Canadians protesting at the rallies that have paralyzed Ottawa said they had nothing left to lose and they are feeling excluded from society and tired of COVID-19 restrictions. President Joe Biden warned his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin that the US and its allies will respond decisively and impose swift and severe cost on Russia if it decides to invade Ukraine. Waving flags and singing the national anthem, thousands of Ukrainians braved the winter cold to march across Kyiv yesterday to show unity in the face of a feared Russian invasion. Japan's Air Force said that it had recovered the body of one of the two crewmen of a fighter jet that disappeared from radar shortly after taking off from Komatsu Air Base in the central Ishikawa region two weeks ago. Well, that's all we have for today. Keep watching BBN News Channel. Do like, share, comment and subscribe. Goodbye.